kid, but I have to do. I have to make a new live stream, which is bad. Because YouTube does not like. YouTube does not like. YouTube does not like. YouTube does not like. YouTube bad. YouTube bad. YouTube sucked. YouTube sucked and made me do a thing uh, that I did not want to have to do, which is create another live stream because they're still having all kinds of issues with uh, OBS, which is very, very annoying. Uh, but I can't really do anything about it. So I just have to kind of like take it and it's annoying. But uh, this is the new live stream. Uh, we had to we had to do an audible. We had to do an audible and create a, uh, a new live stream. But this is the new live stream. Um, sorry about that. It was, it's very annoying, uh, but we have a new one here. Uh, it's, it's just, it's the way it is. It's the way it is. How is everyone doing? Is everyone excited for trailer? Uh, everyone should be excited for trailer because, oh my God, it's going to be here any minute and I can't wait. Um, <laughs> it's just like, it feels unreal. It feels fake. Uh, it, it feels like a lie, but, uh, I can't. I can't lie. This is uh, this is going to be probably like the biggest moment of my YouTube career so far. It's already shooting up to the biggest live stream I've ever had, so that's cool. Uh, and I I'm oh lord. Okay. Um, let's let's talk about this. Let's let's talk about this. Uh, for, okay. First of all, I will be live streaming on Twitch tonight. So let's just get that stupid plug out of the way at twitchtv slash Uh Very excited. Very excited for this. Uh, and now. And now we wait for the Wheel of Time trailer. I have many thoughts. I have many thoughts. Uh, what I want to see most and what I want to see immediately right now is I, I need to see Trollocs. Like, I know everyone's saying channeling. For me, it's going to be Trollocs. Like, that's my number one thing I got to see at this moment. Uh, no question. No question. Going live, new link. All right, uh, let's see. Oh, thank you so much for the dono, uh, Pay of the Fox. Finally, I can direct hand the goblin my dollars. I started reading the Wheel of Time because you know, I can't wait to see the trailer. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, I, I'm literally like my, I am. Finally, I can directly hand the goblin my dollars. Oh, I started thank you. Reading watch uh, and I can't wait to see the trailer. This is a watch party. Like this is going to be a watch party. All right, let's say. Wheel of Time. Boom, tweeted. Nice. And I'm, you know what? I'm just gonna do a straight up. Should I do a straight up at everyone in the Discord? Like, is that is that is this a special occasion where a at everyone is actually needed? I don't know if it is or isn't. Like, I don't know. Is this is this one of those moments? Is this one of those moments? I feel like it kind of is. I feel like it kind of is. You know? I feel like this is a moment where I need to add everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord i am so excited i'm so pumped yes do it go for it okay light the beacon i'm gonna light the fucking be freaking 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 and beacon i'm gonna light the freaking freaking and beacon is what i said here uh that is what i said <laughs> Please don't demonetize me again, YouTube. I really don't need... The reason I've been live streaming on Twitch is YouTube has just decided that all of my live streams need to be demonetized, so... Um, so did you know why all the swords in Wheel of Time are single-edged? At least all the ones I remember are. Is this explained? Uh, are they all? I don't know if they all are. Uh, super excited for this. Thanks for being in the series. Oh, thank you. That means a lot. Thank you. Uh, I hope not. We're only going to talk about what's available... Um, in uh in the actual trailer so it should only be if there's anything it's just book one stuff and i doubt they'll be spoiling anything major um i don't think they are i don't think they are all right uh time for me to add everybody wheel of time teaser trailer watch party at everyone Boom, let's do this. Uh, hi Daniel, I'm a One Piece fan. Is Wheel of Time as good as One Piece? Wheel of Time is my personal favorite series of ever, so I think you know what my answer to this is going to be. <laughs> is this this one? Because this I got from, uh... oh no, you're doing the Stop and Smell the Roses one, I think. 
Uh, that one, I think I got from Urban Outfitters. I don't know. It might have been given to me. I don't, I don't really keep track. I just see shirts that I like, and I, I go for it. Um, okay, so what are your guys' must-sees right now? What is your, like, must-see for this trailer? The stream broke. What? Make your bed? Dad, my... Okay. Dad, get out of here. Get out of here. Stream broke? Oh, god damn it. Is it really broken right now? Did it really just break? Are we serious? Is this actually broken or am I coming through fine? No, okay, I'm coming through fine. Y'all are a bunch of liars. Um, <laughs> all right. Sorry, that music's too loud. Okay. I just can't wait. I'm literally just sitting on their Twitter page. Uh, it's really good. It's all good. It's fine. Okay, good. Um, I cannot, for the life of me, vouch for... Oh my god, look at this chat. Oh my god. I've never experienced a live stream like this. I don't know what I'm supposed to do right now. What am I supposed to do with my hands? Uh, hi. I can't possibly read this. Um, hello. Any advice for somebody who's stuck on book four? I'm finding it hard to pick up again. Book four is like one of the best books. So I don't know what to say to you. Uh, hello. Uh, this is... This is the future of the channel, I guess. Uh, do I need to dye my hair and shave my part of my head? I feel like that's what you do. Thank you for the sticker. I appreciate it. Um, I need to entertain you. <laughs> um, this is the fastest chat I have ever seen in my life. I don't know what to do. I hope this trailer makes sense of all the little clips they've released. Yeah, I wonder if it'll be include some of them. I really don't know. Um, thank you for that super chat. Uh, wow. Hello, the speed of light chat. <laughs> I'm also about to vibrate out of this freaking seat. I can't wait. Move me too. Okay, here is my prediction. Let me break down what we're going to see here. Let me break down what we're for sure definitely going to see here in this uh, trailer. It's going to be opening up. We're going to get an opening shot, right? It's going to show uh, what I imagine will be the white tower. It's going to show the white tower right from the wheel of time it's going to slowly pan out and shoot backwards and it's going to be like oh what's going on right here is this the whole city it's beautiful let the lord of chaos goblins reign thank you um and so then we're going to see like the whole expansive city and then it's just going to do a harsh cut to black it's going to be like look at this epic fantasy thing and then <laughs> cut to black uh i started wheel of time because you currently book nine amazing books love series thank you the hype here is immense for good reason, of course. I have high hopes for this. Me too. Um, and then after it cuts the black, you're going to hear a voiceover. Because it's going to be like dramatic music going. And then it's going to be like... And then after it's going to do that cut to black, we're here. The wheel of time. This music does not match. Hold up. Let me get... Let me... Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Let me get... Hold up. Let me get some epic music. No. Oh my god. Uh, read all 14 books multiple times. Hope the Amazon knocks my socks off. Me too. We don't know yet. All I'm saying is the trailer day. This is also Kenari's birthday, so we don't know casting a shamble yet. Oh my god. Thank you for the sticker, Matt. Um, you can limit my character frequency for users. I'd do that. Ah, I like seeing the party. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. But I like having a little party here. It's, it feels special. I'm on book 14 of my third read-through. Can't wait for the trailer. Absolutely love everything you do for real time. You're my favorite to watch. Keep it awesome. Thank you. I uh, really appreciate that, Dana. Have you ever reviewed the Wandering In series? I have no idea. Um, let's see. Yeah, this is this is good vibe. All right, all right. And then and then after like the cut to black, we hear the narrator and it goes. Jordan Khan is going to be hype next April. Yeah, it is. It will not be the same thing it was. Um, and then after it cuts to the black, we're going to hear the wheel of time turns, ages come and pass. And then after it translates from there, it's gonna have like a transition into a large village. A village, a sprawling scape with farms as we slowly pull in on a, on a red-headed lad working away in the field, working away. You know, there's some sheeps around and then it'll go and some are chosen. And then it'll cut and then we'll see Matt as he's, he's throwing, some, throwing some dice somewhere, having a, having a good old drinky poo. And they go, others are broken. And then it cuts to Perrin in a forge, smithing away, having a, having a little smithy, smithy time. And then it's, 
and some want to be left alone. And then we cut again, and we see a black rider in a hood slowly marching towards this town. But despite what they want, destiny comes. And then we cut to black again, right? And then we get a slow, okay, sorry, all right. I'm almost done with Towers at Midnight and can hardly put down the book. Thanks for getting me into the series and I can't wait for the next read along. Oh, thank you so much, I appreciate that. Um, I will have to turn off the voice stuff for uh, when the trailer's on. If it's a long trailer, I wonder if they'll play Wheel of Time by Blind Guardian in it. I doubt it. Uh, that would be a lot of right stuff that we probably would have heard about. Um, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the uh, chat box voice, just because I when the trailer's on, I can't I cannot have that going. Nine minutes. Nine minutes. Actually, I'm going to take away the alert box altogether. I'm sorry, guys, but, like, this is a moment where we, like, we need to not be interrupted by alert boxes. I love you. I appreciate you. Uh, read the whole series last year because of you and really absolutely loved it. Like, one of my favorite series ever. Thank you for getting me into it. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. That's really nice to hear. Um, I'll still read Super Chats. Don't get me wrong. I just have to not have this thing popping up, right? Because we, we need to have a, uh, we need to have, like, a clear screen. Um, so that will definitely be a thing. How do I just mute this? Is there a way to just mute this? It looks not like not in which case I'll just delete it Thank you so much for the super chat. I don't know. I appreciate you. Don't worry I will still read them out loud, but I just can't have this popping up on the screen um, So I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, remove Okay The hype is real <laughs> uh, Back when I had 50k subs. Wow, you've been here for a while. That was a long time ago. Um, oh my god, I'm so hyped right now. I started Wheel of Time as my first series. I love it so much. Thank you for just me. It feels like a piece from another... Uh, yeah. <laughs> At book three, uh, you're about to see where the series really kicks off. Do you have a moment for Lord and Savior? Uh, the MF and Wheel? <laughs> oh my god, I can't. I can't wait. I can't wait. All right, so let me go ahead and show stuff. I'm literally just sitting on their... Well, I was sitting on their Twitter. Uh, let me go ahead and find... Actually, let me go back to break. Let me go and find uh, Wheel of Time. Let's just see. Let's get their Twitter pulled up in case they tweeted out early. Um, I expect to see all 2,782 named characters in this trailer. Oh, that's funny. Um, is it better if you use Twitch? Uh, not for this. This is a YouTube thing. This is this is YouTube level. All right. This is going to be YouTuber level. No doubt. No doubt. Um, let me make sure. That, did they demonetize me already? They did not! Thank you, YouTube. They often demonetize my streams. And uh, that hurts my soul whenever they do. <laughs> Is there one thing you can definitely want to see in the show? Changing the book. Hand oh, I want to see the ending of The Eye of the World handled differently. I'm not going to spoil this, obviously, because stream. Uh, but I think the ending of The Eye of the World is sloppy. And I would actually like to see them change and improve it. Okay. So, now we're here. We have 4,000 people here right now. What the actual hell i've never holy crap i can't think about it i will lose my mind if i think about it uh so we're not gonna think about it we're not gonna think about it um you know what? we're turning off the music it's gonna be here any minute it's gonna be here any minute there is no time for music <laughs> there is no time for music i'm completely judging that bookshelf this is not a bookshelf i have never presented this as a bookshelf it is not a bookshelf <laughs> it is not a bookshelf <laughs> It is a random crap and some books shelf. <laughs> oh my god, there's 4,000 people here right now. Oh my god. All right. Uh, hi, everyone here. Uh, I hope you're doing well. My name is Daniel. Uh, I am I am here to entertain you and to de expart my Wheel of Time nerdism upon you. Uh, Goblin Clan, Quiet Times begins now. Yeah, we're, we're getting... Did I not turn this off? <laughs> I thought, oh, I have another one in this view. That's why. Uh, I was like, how did you come back from the dead? <laughs> um, that's hilarious. Uh, that was really funny. I thought you came back as a zombie. Out of context, have you written? No, I've not. Um, Goblin Clan twice. Yeah, um, let's see. Oh my God, there's so many super chats. I'm, I'm so sorry if I didn't miss yours. Uh, I've been waiting since 1996 for this to happen. Dude, I've been waiting so long, too. And all your videos kept me alive for this. Thanks for the good work. Oh, I appreciate that. That's so sweet. Uh, I've just read Gentleman Bastard because of you. That was amazing. Thank you. Good. Thank you. 
uh read the wheel of time because of you thank you next love now i want to start next great adventure malazan dude you'll love malazan uh at least i hope you will uh please discuss bathroom time no um because that would be spoilers uh oh my god people from georgia say hi hello back to georgia i was just there for jordan con Oh, oh my God. I'm, 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 dude, I'm so clinched right now. I think season one climax will be action at the start of book two and will end. I can't get, I'm not going to read that because spoilers. Uh, the hype is real. Yeah, it is. Oh my Lord. I'm glad I took away that alert box because people are putting spoilers and I got to be, I need to see Pips. Uh, there was construction workers in my house earlier. So Pips is, uh, very much so hiding. Actually, he's out there right now. He's by my desk. Hi, Pips. Do you want to come see the chat? Um, <laughs> For void views. Oh my god, why are so many people interested in what I have to say? <laughs> oh no, I feel pressure. Thank you for accidentally telling me that what Wheel of Time is about. I didn't know, and I'm reading book two and loving it. Oh, that's great. Um, hi from Russia. Hello back to Russia. Um, 4.7. Dude, we're gonna hit 5k. Holy crap, we're gonna hit 5. Okay, let's watch the teaser real quick. And we can't keep it secret. The dog wanted waking. And we can't keep it secret any longer. The Wheel of Time teaser drops tomorrow. I like how they had like a crap quality mic on. <laughs> like her mic's worse than this piece of junk, <laughs> which is no one's fault except, you know, it's not a big deal. It's just kind of funny that they were like, oh, phone. <laughs> just pick up first book yesterday. Perfect timing. That is perfect timing. Um, I'm on Shadow Rising right now because of you. I have major problems with it, but I get why you love so much. A lot I like, uh, but also, yeah, that's fair. Um, hi everyone. Hello back. Hi from India. Hello back to India. 5k. 5k! Oh my god. Dude, I remember watching your video, uh, when the show was first announced. Wild, we're here right now. Right? This feels like my whole career has built for this moment. Genuinely, it feels like everything I've done over the last five years is focused on this moment. And it's, it's just a lot. I just started reading Shadow Rising. I'm really enjoying the series so far. Good. Uh, I want Tarvalon pronounced like the audio box. Well, the audio books aren't consistent. Sometimes it's Tarvalon and sometimes it's Tarvalon. <laughs> so which one do you want? <laughs> oh my God, 5K. 5K people here right now for the Wheel of Time trailer. Let's go. All right, here's how it's going to happen. Here's how we're going to do this because it, it's about to happen. So here's what's going to happen. I am going to watch it through fully once with my mouth shut. All right, literally just like mouth shut, not going to talk. We're going to get through it once so that we can all experience it fresh, uninterrupted. Okay. And then I'll go back through and do like a slow watch through breakdown with you guys. And then I got to go because I need to make a video about it. Right. So that is going to be the plan. That's what's going to happen here to celebrate because we have two minutes left. I'm going to grab pips. And I'm going to let you all say hi to my cat. I'll be right there. We got the pipums. We got the pipums. We got the pipums. Where are the likes? I'm sorry, the likes aren't here. Hello, pipums. Okay, you can go now. All right. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> beep boop boop bop. <laughs> Why did you super chat that? Oh my God. All right. Okay. Okay. Where are the likes? I don't know. How many seasons do you think the whole series will be? I hope around eight or nine. Um, 6,000. Oh my God. We're on the way to 6,000 people watching this right now. Holy crap. I am going to act like I don't feel the pressure. I don't feel any pressure whatsoever. No pressure at all. The goblin was born for this moment. I was, this is my moment. I'm literally sitting here just hitting refresh. Like, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, <laughs> give it to me. <laughs> Uh, how's the volume, by the way? Is that a decent level of volume? I feel like that's a decent level of volume. It is on my end. You guys need to tell me if it's too quiet or anything. I can make it louder. Don't worry about it. Um, here's some of the last stuff they did. Oh, my God. Mm. Will the shape of Torvalon change in 20... I don't know what you mean by that. Gonna happen, I'm gonna cry. I'm so excited. Super chat to add pressure to Goblin 6,000. <laughs> I got 6,000 people. <laughs> louder? A little too quiet? Alright, I'll make that shit louder. There we go. That should be good. God, look at this fucking sexy. Frickin', frickin' YouTube. I said frickin'. I said frickin'. 
sexy logo. Uh, I have more viewers than Dusty Will. That's, I'm, I wish I could combine with them. I'd love to watch it with Matt. Oh, my lord. Louder. Oh, God. Louder? Okay, I can... Well, that was, that was a really quiet clip, everyone. That was a pretty quiet clip, so be careful. Um, I'm just waiting for this tweet. It's officially 11.30. Where is it? It's officially 11.30. Where is it? It's officially 11.30, Wheel of Time. Don't, don't, be, don't, be, don't be making me sit here. Don't be making me sit here. Where is it? Refresh? Refresh? It's released? No, it's not. Y'all are lying to me right now. Y'all are lying to me. And we can't keep it secret any longer. The Wheel of Time I teaser. Butterflies do me too. I don't see this. I don't see this. Come on. Give me the trailer. Give me the trailer. Here. Is it here? Is it here? I don't see it here. Is it here? Oh, ah, it's here. It's here. It's two minutes and 20 seconds long. Okay. Hold up. Okay. Unmute. Hold up. Everyone. Shh, shh, shh. All right. We're just going to watch this through. We're just going to watch this through. Everyone. Shh, 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 shh. Be strong. <laughs> the wheel of time turns. And ages come and pass. Leaving memories that become legend. The power inside you. All over the world there are different names for it. But it's one thing. One power. And women who can touch it. We protect the world. No matter what happens, on pain we face, on heartbreak, the wheel keeps turning. The Dark One is coming for your friends. Whatever happens now, there's no turning back. Okay, a lot of thoughts. A lot of thoughts immediately. Um, Be strong. we're gonna do this again. We're gonna, we're gonna do this again. We're gonna go through again. There's things I like, there's things I don't. There's a lot to say here. Um, fascinating. Okay, all right, let's go through this again. We all just saw it. Now we're gonna go scene by scene. We're gonna break this down because, oh my God. All right, so first shot, establishment, Nynaeve and Egwene. That's not what I predicted, but that's fine. I got no issue with that whatsoever. This is our first looks of Nynaeve and Egwene in character. They look good. They look good. The lighting immediately still strikes me as not my favorite. Um, I do not like the lighting necessarily, but hey, I might just have to get used to that. That's fine. Be strong. We then get Nynaeve trying to murder Egwene. Not really. Uh, <laughs> this looks like, okay, I'm going to keep this spoiler free as best I can. Let's talk about this. Uh, this is, this is... I assume a ceremony Egwene goes through early on to uh, become more mature, more accepted. That's fine. I like that they're including that. It seems like we're not having as heavy a focus on Rand if that's being included. If they're including the that, of time if they're including that, I can safely assume they're going to be more evenly dispersing out this whole book from just being Rand's perspective is quite as much. Um, we also see this is Emmons Field. We've already seen this before in concept art looks pretty much exactly like the concept art. I'm I'm fine with that. Uh I like the look of Emmons Field. The clothing, it doesn't look it looks a little too medieval for me, uh to be honest, because Wheel of Time isn't 
supposed to be medieval, but I get why this super remote village, um, you know, would still look like that. So that's fine. Uh, I'm okay with that as well. Uh, we then, okay, this is the trio. We have the Taviran trio right here. So this is our first look of Vrand, Matt, and Perrin. And I like them. All right. There's nothing wrong with this. I still don't like the lighting a ton. It seems a little too just bright. Uh, please move chat box off screen. I can absolutely do that. Hold up. That's I will do. I will do this. That is very small now. Dish more. Um, Matt has the charisma like just this alone. This face right here. Let me just let me just make this a little bigger. Uh, this face right here. This, this is Matt. <laughs> and I'm literally giving like a ha 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 shut up from Rands, which that fits. I'm good with that. Uh, the, uh, the fact you said holy S word when the, fa I did, I did not swear YouTube. That is a false accusation. Uh, when the fade shows up, shows they're definitely scary. I agree. Uh, yeah, they're definitely aged up, which I've got on the record and say, I actually agree with this choice. They are older than looking there in the book. I want that because I do not want YA looking people Re running the wheel of time because that sets an expectation i don't think the wheel of time delivers on uh i also said i want more adult themes included i want them to come across more adult i've even said i would be okay with them hooking up already like they're already being physical relationships between these people because it just feels too out of place for me for them not to so if we see that then great uh oh my the amount of chills and opening mouth gaping right uh so i'm okay with this and being ages older. come Egwene looking and like she's just come back. Randall happy for her. That's all good. Leaving. Here's here's our Emmons Field 5 out. This is them out and about after they have to leave the village. Um, so that's that's this is a where is this? This is gorgeous. Is this in Portugal? Or Prague? Sorry, is this in Prague? Good lord. Memories. Uh we have Holy crap, that's an Aes Sedai ring. That's one of the Aes Sedai rings we've seen on uh, Moraine's fingers, and this seems to be... Is that a warder crying? Hold up, give me a second. Pass. Leaving memory. We have an Aes Sedai death confirmed in the trailer. This is the trailer, it's out, and that's an Aes Sedai death, because why else would a warder be holding an Aes Sedai ring and crying on it? So, that's in the trailer. That's a lot. Holy crap. Um... Because, like, I, he has a white cloak, but why would a white cloak... You are extremely wrong about lighting. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry you disagree with me. Um, good God. Okay, Please. that's a lot. That become legend. That's such a cool shot. That's such a cool shot. Loose Theron. I, I don't think it's Loose Theron, but if you guys think that, all right. That's such a cool shot! I love this! This looks so good. Um, that's it. This is, this is a great shot. I like the idea of Egwene being played up more in season one. So the fact that we're seeing more her in this trailer. Yes. This shot got me going. This shot got me going. I love this shot so much. Look, okay. No spoilers. Look at the foreshadowing with all these colors. For the people who know, you know. For the people who don't know, you don't know. But the people who know, you're like, oh, damn. Oh, damn. Okay. Okay, Tarvalin. Interesting. Very interesting approach for Tarvalin. I love the color and the nature being so prevalent in the city. This is a super green city. Um, ridiculously so. Um, wow. Okay. The tower is big. It's a, that's a, that's a thickum tower. <laughs> we also have Dragon Mount in the background here. So... I, okay, I, I want to say, uh, will you be doing reactions to each episode? Yes. Um, here's the thing. This, uh, it looks like they're keeping the general layout of the island, and that is all I will say, and I will move on. Y'all know, if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. <laughs> this does look like it's the same layout as the, the, the tower we've seen before. And Moraine. Okay, um, here's my first, like, criticism, all right? Here's my criticism. She looks a bit off for me. It's just not how I envision Moraine 100%. And I've been a bit honest about that. It's just, it's not connecting. I'm sure I'll be won over, or maybe, maybe I won't. I don't know. As the show goes on, it just looks a bit not what I expected. I just, Roseman Pike looks very, 
I guess it fits what the book describes, but I always pictured Moraine. I don't know. This is one of those things where like, I just got to adjust what I, you know, you can't have everything you want uh, in terms of the look of the characters. Super excited for the show. I hope they include the prologue. I can't read that anymore because spoilers. Uh, watch us use color spray. Let's go. <laughs> Power inside you. All over the world, there are different names for it. Okay, so here's the tower, uh, the hall of the tower. For people complaining about how little we see of Rand, he said himself, it's never been about. Yeah, that's true. Okay, big spoilers. Um, keep those out. So this is the hall of the tower. I always pictured a bigger, grander room, uh, but this is a this is a damn impressive architecture look. Um, I guess keeping it a bit smaller will allow scenes to be more fluid because you don't have to worry about showing like tons of people in the background. I just always pictured the ta the hall of the tower being a lot bigger. Is my the only one who's been feeling that? Like, this feels kind of small, but I think, was I just wrong? It's very colorful as well, uh, with, with the Ajas. Like, can you really avoid that, though? Um, but it's one thing. That's the Amerlin. Oh, that Amerlin, that is subtle. That is a very subtle color gradient that I think works. Uh, it's a lot more fitting for the tone they've built to have that more subtle, and I think that's why it clashes a little with these like all over the world there are different names I've already a lot of Wayne like this looks a little too bold I but like how subtle thing. this is um is that a okay this is where my ignorance and in fashion and style comes in is that a shawl I don't know <laughs> I don't know what that would be considered also these chest tattoos girl how do you know tattoos are my thing all right so healing okay I assume this is healing right is this healing I don't know I'm a little underwhelmed by this display of channeling, but I saw one later in the trailer that had me very properly whelmed. So I don't, it seems, it seems like we're going to be getting a lot of different types of views of channeling, which is probably a good thing, right? Like that's probably a good thing, depending on whose perspective we're in, whether or not someone can just feel it or sense it or see it. I think that's good. So this is a more subtle, I don't know whose perspective we're following. Um... Maybe this is maybe this is channeling in like the perspective of someone who just is like starting. I don't know. One power. Um, but yeah, this is a much more what I expected type channeling look, and that's that is properly whelmed. I am properly whelmed here. Um, <laughs> this I'm good with. Uh, this and I'm women good who with. can touch it. Okay, the red sisters. I like that they're making all the red sisters look like total like. Like, this person has a look of you hate them immediately. There's some Dolores Umbridge vibes going on. And the reds have the most bold colors, which for the red Aja is super fitting. Like, that is so fitting, and I like that. Um, I love that. That's cool. I like the costuming design. It's a little too clean, because it looks like these people are out traveling, if I had to assume. But they're Aes Sedai, right? They're going to keep their stuff clean, right? Like, I guess that's... I think that's fine. Um... Oh, that's, uh, oh, that's the, what's her name? Oh, the actress, what's her name? Um, she's playing Swan, I think. Isn't that, no, 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 she's playing Swan second. This is, uh, Leon, Leon, I'm not sure. We protect the world. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm literally shaking right now. Like, my adrenaline's so high, I cannot keep my head straight. <laughs> the, the blonde is Leandrin, yeah. Um, wait, no, wait, what? What are people telling me here? Why am I reading out wrong names? Leanne, thank you, yeah. Um, Swan. Yeah. All right. Slain. Thank you. All right. So here we have, that's Nynaeve. You can tell from the braid from behind. I assume this is just an Aes Sedai. Um, the Rush Rush made me tear up. Please don't let the hype be in vain. Started reading these books in the early 2000s. Good. Um, so this is an Aes Sedai. It has to be. I guess this would be her warder with two axes. Who's dual wielding axes? Who's dual wielding axes? Those axes look weird. I don't. I guess they don't look traditional medieval, so they look a little more, like, sci-fi-y, so I'm okay with that, but I'm, I'm having a little bit of trouble with these axes. But that's, like, the smallest thing ever, right? Um, this just looks like a normal camp follower. He's got a bow and arrow sticking down there. Oh, there's a shield! We have a shield! We have a shield! That is something you rarely get in Wheel of Time. There is a proper shield right here. <laughs> um, that's funny. Oh, yep, that was definitely a channeler. Now they're channeling again. So it we're not seeing the weaves. We're seeing what looks like the channeling looks amazing. The fade scared me. I think all Egwene means that she... Okay, I'm not going to read all that. Um, so it looks like we're definitely getting different views of channeling from different um, different perspectives. So that's good. 
Uh, yeah, this, I think, okay, so I like that what's happening. Uh, I like this, the look of this bow is badass, too. This guy looks good. I like his costuming. He's looking up like there's something big and bad coming. She looks like she's about to solve the problem. Alana, yeah. I, oh, this is Alana or two warders. I, is one of her warders described as having a bow? I don't remember that. Arrows coming in, Alana being like, <laughs> solving it. Okay, here we're seeing them draw in, I guess, the air? We got some red sisters, got some green, some warders. Oh, Lan, go, yo, check this out. That is Lan, that's Daniel Hideous Lan, putting himself in front of Nynaeve. For those who know, you know. For those who know, you know. That's we. that's a thing, okay, love it. Um, Okay, wait, I just missed that shot. Let's go back. Oh my god, this November. Okay, so there's no... We're not getting an official definitive release date. They're sticking to just November. This also does confirm, though, the island is keeping its shape. <laughs> the island will remain... shapely, if you know what I mean. They're keeping true to Jordan's vision. <laughs> uh, is that... Definitely Rand and definitely... <laughs> definitely Matt... I literally realized that because, uh, oh, 19th? Oh, 19th, great. Oh, perfect. Uh, November 19th, great. November 19th, good. We have Rand looking like he's, wait, what are they looking at? What is that? And then Matt, you can just tell by how disheveled he is. Um, what are they looking at there? What is that big circle? Is that Shutter Logoth? Is that Shutter Logoth? Camelin? No, that can't be Camelin. Camelin would be more sprawling. Camelin would be like sprawling. I because look at like the break in the wall right there. Do you see that break? That's Shardar Logoth. It's gotta be. It's gotta be no no no. Camelin would be way more sprawling and it wouldn't just be on the side of the river like that. Camelin would be compompassing all around. This has to be Shardar Logoth. It literally has a deteriorating wall around it. It's gotta be. Uh, I'm putting I'm putting money down that that's Shardar Logoth. Maybe White Bridge, but like I kind of doubt that. Um Tyr? No, because Tyr would have the giant stone of Tyr in the middle. It's definitely not Tyr. Definitely not Faldara, because it's not on the coast. Um, come out, get out of here with your casual knowledge. That, I'm calling it that Shardar Logoth. 100% that Shardar Logoth. We got Rand aiming his bow. I would assume this would be at the merge roll on the road? This has to be at the... No, but yeah, it's middle of the day, so it would be, yeah, be the merge roll on the road. Um, no matter what happens. Oh, ah, 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 ah. Rand aiming... That's the dagger! We got the dagger in Matt's hands. Um, picking it up. Picking it up. Love the channel trailer reaction. I started seeing your channel. Okay, thank you so much. Um, I... This is Matt. This is Matt getting the dagger. No spoilers, but I, uh, I like the look in his eye. I'll say that. Uh, I like the look of the dagger. Yeah, overall, I actually... I, the more I've sat on the dagger, the more I've been the hugest fan of the look, but is this good enough? And... I like da Barney Harris. Ooh, I am I am excited, sir. I, I, am, what happens. I am hurting your Ooh, what the f Okay, yeah, so guys, definitely shot our logo. They're showing us the city in the distance. They cut to Matt getting the dagger. What happens? And then they cut to what I assume is without spoilers, the the problem waiting in Shadar Logoth for them coming toward them. Uh so yeah. What is happening to this wall? Look at this wall. It's being eaten. Do you guys see that? I don't think it's Logoth because they are together and alone, so they have fled there. Yeah, maybe they fled, and this is them leaving Shutter Logoth. But what's happening? I think it's... It's what's coming for them. I'm not going to spoil it, but... Wait, that... Hold up. What happens? Hold up. Stop. That was big. Hold up. That's an Aiel. No, no, that's not an Aiel. Is that, what is, I don't know, but Barney's looking at someone dead. Um, Barney's looking at someone dead. I can't tell who that is. What is that? Give me a second here. It's a, it's gotta be an Aiel dead in a cage, right? Um, Interesting. Okay. Oh! Okay, so we literally have, like, four frames of Perrin meeting a wolf. 
who has not looked super happy to meet Perrin. Uh, I love that. Very happy with that. That is good. Uh, interesting. Okay. 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 Love that. That's good. I'm. Oh! Okay. So this kind of confirms something I was saying. Uh, if you're going to age them up, just make them having physical relationships. And so for me, this is kind of confirming that, yeah, uh, Rand, Rand and Egwene already seem to have a physical relationship. Uh, and I, I'm fine with that change. I actually think that is a good change. It takes it more away from that medieval set, you know, medieval values fantasy we're used to and puts it more into um, the Wheel of Time set era. So I'm fine with this. I think it'd be weird to have 20-year-olds that are hanging out and not boinking. So if they're boinking, fine. Um, now we have... I like how Perrin... Perrin looks like he's, he's fine. He's just like, ah, okay, I'm angry, but whatever. Matt looks so like, I just stole a dagger and I hope no one notices. <laughs> <laughs> like his facial expression is literally like... Ain't nothing, uh, ain't nothing going on here, guys. Um, just don't look at, just don't look at me. <laughs> the wheel keep. All right, so this is, this is the actor for Tom, is it not? And I think the big old mustaches include, um, that's, okay, there's, there's, there's been your first crime against Wheel of Time, because this is Tom, I believe, and he has a beard, um, so, hmm. Wait, who's the girl? What are you talking about? What girl? It's Egwene. It's Rand. There's no girl here. I don't know what y'all are talking about. There's no. Oh, it's Tam. Sorry, Tam. You're right. I'm sorry. Old white dudes. All right, they look alike, and that's a great look for Tam. So I'm happy with that. Old white dudes look alike. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look, we got winter. Oh, my God, dude, that juxtaposition is so good. Oh, my God, look at this juxtaposition. Look at this. This is winter's night. Everyone's like, we're so happy. We're so good. We're having such a good time. It was going to be a fun night and dead. <laughs> it's like, yay, this is a wonderful time for us. <laughs> Oh, look, rejoicing in our simple village lives. Murder. <laughs> um, although these are a bunch of Aes Sedai. So it, this isn't the result of Winter's Night. This has to be something else. Because it's a bunch of Aes Sedai, it looks like, standing around, right? Like, those cloaks are what we've seen from the Aes Sedai. Um, so I think, they're, uh, I think they're, they're changing them out. And then we get the hall again. That's that, that looks so good. Actually, it looks a little, it looks good, but it looks a little computer generated for me, which is a criticism I'm going to have a little bit. This show just in general has looked a uh, a little a little computer generated, but like I get it. It's season one. I'm fine with that. Um, okay, merge all guys. Oh, oh, we got a merge all. Okay, I love the creepy ominous vibe. Um. And then we cut to Lan, which I really like that setup. Does that hint that like his big challenge for the season is going to be this merge roll? I don't know. Um, but one, I like the look of it. I like them not showing too much in the first shot. It's like drawing me into it. I'm like, ooh, what's that? Is this the guy with a creepy chin? We'll figure it out. He does have like a, a lip split. Like he's got a little, got a little thing going on there. You'll see that. He's got a little, he's got a little thing going. It does look like Gothic Voldemort. <laughs> <laughs> and then we cut to uh, Lan. Who's pointing a knife at him? Who is doing this? Let me see. Who's pointing a knife at him? The dark one is coming for your friends. Okay, we don't get to see, but we do get the dark one is coming for your uh, your friends. And then we see a lot of Trollocs. Okay, that is a Merdral amongst a sea of Trollocs. Oh my God, the Trollocs look so different. We have a, okay, so right here we have one with like tusks. Over here, we have one with, like, a human, snarled, twisted face. So they're definitely going for, like, a diverse set look for Trollocs, and that's fantastic. Um, oh, that's good. And then we get <laughs> the acting here. I love it. Um, then we get Matt and Rand running. Again, Rand looks kind of composed, like, let's get out of here, guys. And then we have Matt, who looks like, ah! Like, <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That's so funny. I love that. 
That's hilarious that we have Rand looking kind of composed and then Matt just losing his shit. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I have no idea what the context of this shot is. I have no idea what's happening here. This is a bunch of uh, people running in, in well-lit woods and land punching the shit out of someone. Uh, that was a good stage hit, I guess. It, in fast, it looks reasonable. Like, it, if you break it down frame by frame, it, it's like The Witcher. It looks pretty fake. But if you speed it up, it looks fine. Okay. Now we get Loghain. Um, and he's channeling from his eyes. Um, okay. I'm fine with that, because you don't have to channel from your hands. That's established. And so, Loghain... Oh, oh, oh! Okay, this battle scene followed up by Loghain. I think this might be Loghain... This is a Loghain-involved battle. I don't know how or why, but this is going to be a Loghain-involved battle. Uh, and he is breaking... Okay, so we have that red from before, and we have that green from before. And we have Loghain breaking out? Hold up. Hold up. Why do we have Loghain breaking out of prison? That's a lot. Okay. I've said I want... Okay, so that might be Loghain's followers. And I've said I've wanted more Loghain. Like, I want his character to be played up and do more. So, it's it's got to be him breaking out. And Nynaeve is witnessing it. So, we don't get that in the book. But it looks like Nynaeve is witnessing Loghain breaking out. So... Interesting. It looks like he's shattering his shield. That's a big change. I don't know how... Okay, that's... Ooh, okay. That's a change. That's the first, like, huge change we're seeing that I'm conflicted by. Um, we know for sure that's the Logan actor, so I... Okay. Um, no, that's the Logan actor. That's for sure the Logan actor. Um, interesting. Maybe it's a flashback. Maybe it's a flashback. That, and then I'm putting the shots together in a way that doesn't actually come together. That's my bad. That's my bad. Okay, forget that. All right, then we have Moraine coming into the tower. That Why would Moraine be going into the tower? She has her... Wait, does she have her crystal? Oh, she does! She has the blue pendant. That's great. So I guess this... Okay, so it makes sense that that would be a flashback, and I'm going to guess this is a flashback as well. Um, I'm going to think both are flashbacks. That would make the most sense to me. It's um, coming. Ah! Ah! Trollocs. I want a clear shot of the Trollocs. Give me clear shots of Trollocs. So we have a horde of Trollocs. Um, I said it for Nadif. Uh, yeah. Um, don't spoilers. Don't spoilers. Don't read the chat if you want to get spoiled. Um, so, okay. We have a bunch of Trollocs here. It's blurry. Why aren't they giving me clear Trollocs? Give me clear Trollocs. Give me clear Trollocs. Nine, uh, we have Moraine on horse. We have Land looking concerned. Land looking very concerned. More of that battle. That's got to be the same battle. It looks too similar. It's too connected. It's got to be the same battle. I do like... So this is a great attention to detail here from like the culture and wheel of time. This is a sword that is not typical, typical medieval Europe. Uh, this is them pulling from like... You can just look here and see they've pulled from a very diverse set of backgrounds to like come up with the looks here. And if it's an Aes Sedai involved battle, it makes sense that warders would be pulling stuff from all over the place. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I am interested in the shield. We got someone shield bearing, which is not common for, uh, <laughs> Wheel of Time. Okay, this is, okay, this is my biggest complaint so far. Hold up. Um, this looks great. I love this winter night shot. This is clearly winter's night, and this, th them working together, beautiful. Love it. This, though, this goofy as hell. Um, one... This, you, how are you getting this much air? You're taking like half a step. Those axes I'm not a fan of. And you're coming at what looks like low gain with an attempted shield being put on him. I don't know. And that just looks weird. I'm not a big fan of this. This looks weird. This whole sequence here. Oh, shit. This is a different shot. Okay, so now it's Lan with what looks like channeling breaking in front of him. And then Trollocs there. So this has to be Winter's Night again. We're cutting between some battle... And Winter's Night. So this has got to be Winter's Night again. And then we get land <laughs> triple three stooge killing Trollocs. I am uh, very okay with that. Very okay with that. That is cool for land. What? Um, oh, Whatever shit. happens now, there's no turning back. So now we have the party coming up to what I assume is a way gate. Yeah, they've confirmed that's a way gate. 
Okay. And then we get a merge all walking into Winter's Night. And then we get... I had a lot of questions. Our uh, guy, Goofy, jumping at double axis seems like guy who was over crying over ice to die ring. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, I think it's for sure. That's the same actor. Um, this this is great. Merge Roll should be nightmare fuel, and this is nightmare fuel. Uh, this is fantastic. I like that it doesn't have hair coming over the place. I always thought Merge Roll with hair looked weird. I like that it looks bald, at least with the hood up. Maybe it has hair if you pull it down. I don't know. Uh, this is fantastic. This is such a good look for Merge Roll. This is pretty much exactly what I wanted to see for them. I'm a fan. Um, and then, okay, I need to go frame by frame through these Trollocs. Okay, hold up. I, okay, guys, guys, I've got my fucking Trolloc legs. Mm, or frickin', frickin' you I got my frickin' Trolloc legs. Look at these. Look at these bad, beautiful boys here. They got hooves. They're looking unnatural. They're, they look different enough from Orc to me, which was my biggest fear. Um, and that's, that's perfect. That's fantastic. Um, love this look of the Trollocs. They look pretty different. I love the horns, the claws. I haven't seen a beak yet. Give me a Trolloc with a beak. Give me a Trolloc with 8k. Oh my god, we're at 8k. Um, we have Lan turning to look at us like, hey, how's it going, everybody? I hope you're enjoying the trailer. <laughs> Lan, I am enjoying the trailer. Thank you. Um, oh, we got Moraine channeling. I, uh, that's a lot of arm movement for channeling. Um, <laughs> Look at this, we got Lan rolling away as she's shooting over him. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, that probably leads into the shot we got earlier of him cutting through a weave. That's the kind of stuff we need to see here. That's the kind of stuff we need to see here. Because we, I, whenever we see a warder and Aes Sedai fighting together, they should move like fluid together. They should be shooting over each other, just being like almost one mind because they have that connection. So I love that we're seeing uh, Lan do this roll with a weave from Moraine coming over him. That is sick. Oh, I love that. And then he's getting, and we're getting blood. We are getting blood flying everywhere as he's cutting a trollic. It's not holding back. There's blood, there's gore. Yes, I love that there's blood and gore. Fantastic. This is just a lot of movement for channeling. Like, I never pictured Moraine doing this. I guess if you need to like make a, a dramatic shot that's that's a good dramatic shot in a battle scene. It looks like she's preparing for something huge. Um, yeah, she is. Oh, and this is the shot from the teaser. Um, wait, what was this? We got a couple frames of something there. I'm not going to ignore that. Are you kidding me? I'm not going to ignore that. Give me a second here. Give me a second here. What is this? Okay. What is this? Give me a second. Okay, so it's her bringing down lightning. So we get the res oh we have okay so let's break down the weave look here we have her channeling into the sky but it, there's no color differentiation that's bugging me there should be color differentiation right all I've seen is just white weaves or golden glowy weaves it should be like red blue green like there should be I don't know like that that's kind of bugging me a little bit but whatever um, I do like that we're getting her channeling into the sky and pulling down lightning she is pulling down lightning and hitting a trolley There's a face? Where was the face? I didn't see no face. Give me a face. Where was the face? Where's the face? There's, no face. There's no face in the sky here. You liar. You full of lies. Yeah, there's no face here. But she like look at this trolley. Look at this trolley she's hitting and it just boom. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh my god, that's wonderful. Oh my lord. I'm so happy right now. Alright, I'm gonna watch it through one more time and then give final thoughts. Uh, we're gonna watch it through one more time smoothly and then I'm gonna give final thoughts. I will talk over it more this time because uh, we've uh, we've already gone through it, but let's go. Be strong. I like that we're getting more Egwene, I really do. November 19th, 2021. The wheel of time turns. Wait, oh, okay. and I'm sorry, I need the to stop. Wheel of time Does Matt have a dice cup? Is that a dice cup in his hands? I think it is. I think he's putting down dice. Yeah, look, there's that's dice. There's dice right there. Matt coming in, first shot, dice. Love it. 
and ages come and that's a boy in love right there All right, sorry. pass leaving memories that that's my favorite legend. shot of the whole trailer I love this shot that is such a good shot god damn that's a good shot the power inside you mm. all over the world there are different names for it but it's one thing one power and women who can touch it we protect the world really like the look of this city. I really like the look of this city. I love that it has these little like outlying places like that. It feels like a a a center. This feels like a big important center. The bridges look great. The massive arches. This is exactly what I wanted to see for Tarval and the tower's odd, but I don't dislike it. It's just different than what I thought it would be. Like I do really like the look of this tower. It's very different than what I expected, but I'm cool with it. Um, I have problems with stuff later on. If that is shot or loaded through distance, what it should look like so much look darker. Huh? That looks a bit funky, but Bang it's fine. An odd break. I like that they seem to be already fun. The wheel keeps turning. Damn, looks good. The dark one is coming for your friends. The shadow squad. Oh, the shadow squad. That guy straight up looks the like John. The coming for your friends. That straight up looks like Jon Snow. I'm just gonna be real with you. That guy just looks like Matt. Like, he looks like Jon Snow. Punch in the face. This is the goofiest looking thing. I'm not sure about this whole scene. This is. Her acting the great. last battle is coming. The only thing that matters is what you spawn. did. Lighting bugs me a little, but I can barely have some popular opinion. Whatever happens now, there's no turning back. Let me go my concluding thoughts. Beautiful. Stop it. November 19th. So, here are my concluding thoughts. Are you ready? Um, I have problems, of course. It's not perfect, but I'm very happy overall. Uh, biggest problems are the lighting looks weird to me. That one scene with low gain just looks kind of odd. The CGI effects are not phenomenal. The costume being looks like a lot of care was put into it, but I'm a little confused by some of it. Um, aside from that, I loved the sequences overall. I loved the look of the shadow spawn. I love the look of the characters. I had no issue with any of the realization there. The score was awesome. The action looked intense. Uh, I, I, I just wish we'd seen loyal <laughs> color in the weaves and the colors of the Ajas for different reasons could be confusing in terms of lore. I get, yeah, that's actually a really good point. Kind of like, the red Aja is red because we use fire. Yeah, okay. I, that's actually a really good point. It, I have to always remember they're trying to appeal to like mainstream audiences and make the chat a little bigger here for y'all. Um, I'm at like a solid 7.5 out of 10 for happiness. I like this. I am happy. I have problems, but also the show's not done. I'm sure a lot of the CGI is still going to be touched up. Um, we also didn't get Tom. That's sad. Uh, I, I assume some of this is still going to be worked on and made to look a little bit better. Um, I like the pacing of like how that trailer escalated. Unfortunately, like I can't judge more beyond that. Um, but God, those shadow spawn look good. It really looked like they're leaning into the horror, which is what I've been saying. I want episode one to be like campily happy. I want episode one to be like, we're in basically the Shire. Cause that's what Robert Jordan intended. Right. He's like, let's go ahead and just have this be like super ha -ha -ha happy. And then I want winter's night to just feel like a bloodbath that comes out of nowhere that just changes it up. Um, and that's what I hope we get. That's what I hope we get. Um, it's easier to get over some of the changes if you see this in a different turning of the wheel. That's a, oh, that's actually a really good point. I like that. Um, we didn't get any fade either. Okay, so what I would have liked to see most that we didn't, I'm also gonna make myself a little bigger here. Um, what would I have liked to see that we didn't? One, loyal, white cloaks. Um, and I, I wanted to see more of Rand, like, duh. We didn't get a lot of Rand there. I wish we had gotten more, but I'm happy. The coloring's gonna drive me nuts. Um, that lighting just being so weird. The, some of the CGI definitely is changing. That sequence bothered me, but overall, I'm happy.
I am happy. I'm excited. I'm not disappointed. Uh, I was going to do a full video breakdown, but I don't know if that's needed anymore because this is a really comprehensive video and you guys have been watching the crap out of it. So thank you. Um, I love how there's no mention of dragon. Yeah, that actually is interesting. I actually like that choice to be like, let's, let's keep that mystery. Cause I don't know. I feel like it'd be too obvious if you do. Uh, now we need a trailer for the goblins book. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I like that this is very much so not framed around Rand, which is a, a framing of the series I would like. Um, this was so much fun. Oh, this was so much fun. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Like and subscribe if you have not already. I'm going to go ahead and end this live stream here. And uh, yeah, this is a really high budget show. I wonder why the CG looks the way it does. Um, but I will do a spoiler video now. That's what I'm going to go work on. I'm going to go make a spoiler filled reaction video uh, that I will talk about. And then uh, I will upload that either later today or tomorrow. Keep your eye on out for it. But I'll leave this live stream up for the spoiler free crowd who is uh, interested for this. Love you guys. Thank you so much for being a part of this. This feels like one of the true like big moments for my life 